One of the things about vintage synthesizers specifically is so often, because they only had low-pass filters, you were subject to whatever bass frequencies the oscillators were generating, and that was the amount of bass that you were going to get. So if you had a synthesizer like the Moog Mini Moog, which naturally had an emphasis in the bass frequencies due to the filter and the oscillators, you can get a really deep, good bass sound. Some other synthesizers, though, didn't have the frequency content to generate a huge amount of bass. And sometimes that makes it kind of sad. Of course, you can use it for leads or whatever. But one of the great things about having a synthesizer that has different filter types is that you can use them to generate the bass that you want. Let's listen to oscillator one. It's a great bass sound. It's just a sawtooth. Of course, if we wanted to be bass here, we could go with a square wave. Or a triangle, which also has, you know, obviously great bass sound because it has less high frequencies to distract us from the bass that's there. But let's stick with the square wave for right now. Now, if we have it going through a 12 decibel per octave low pass filter, we don't get to emphasize any bass frequencies. Here, let's listen. We can hear bass frequencies right there because we are down, uh, the filter cutoff point is down where the bass is and we've shaved away all of the high frequencies. And that is a nice bass sound. But what if we wanted to emphasize bass frequencies? We could use the resonance, but by the time we get the peak that the resonance is generating at the filter cutoff down into the bass, we don't have really any timbre on top of it. We just have a sine wavy sort of sound. That's providing bass, but that is not a great bass synth sound. Uh, because there's no sound, there's just the bass, you know? Getting kind of a nice click transient there, which sounds nice. However, that's not what we're going to talk about. What we're going to talk about is how we can amplify bass frequencies with a filter. And I'm moving up to the Steiner filter to demonstrate this. So what we do is we set the filter. Let's listen to it right now. We'll turn down resonance, we'll turn this up. We'll turn the filter all the way up. Turn off the drive and the root factor, okay. That's still the bassy sound we were getting before. Uh, slightly different, obviously, because it's going through a different filter. But again, we can't really emphasize bass frequencies and still retain a timbre. So let's shift it to 12 decibel per octave. And then let's go to high pass. Let's listen. And you might be saying, hey, Mark, really? This is how you're going to generate some bass? Well, if you've seen my videos before, you know where I'm going to go with this. But if you haven't, yes, I'm using the high pass to generate a huge low end. And how? Well, the cool thing about the high pass is if you put the filter cutoff point down where bass frequencies exist, you haven't erased all of the higher timbres. You've increased your bass frequencies a little bit, and you still have all of the high frequencies from above. And you might still say, hey, Mark, that's just not a bass sound even right now. But when we turn the resonance up, remember, the resonance accentuates the frequencies at the cutoff point. So you can already hear it is giving us bass. And you can change the filter cutoff point and focus it at a lower frequency to get more bass. So by using this, we've immediately amplified bass characteristics. and made it a bassier sound while still retaining the timbre of the square wave. And we can do that also in the second filter, the ladder filter, by switching it into high pass and into 12 decibel per octave. Listen to that. 
the latter filter naturally has emphasis in the bass anyway. It's, it's just, <laughs> it's ridiculously huge. And then we can actually uh, change the routing so that they are a serial setting. <laughs> we can just generate a stupid level of bass. It's just distorting, it's too much bass. But yeah, that is the way that you can use a high pass filter to really give your bass a huge punch. And then of course, it's gonna make a difference if your envelope amount is happening. The brute factor also adds a bit of bass, so turning up the brute factor. And of course, you still have sub oscillators. It's gotten ridiculous now, it's barely even usable, but you can really create some giant low end and still ret retain enough timbre for it to be a good synthesizer sound.